my earrings are actually Gelong pins that my SA gave me. So instead of wearing it on my clothes, I wear it on my ears and now they are earrings. Perfect. Thank you again to my SA. Hi everyone, my name is Chaps. I am misinformation.blog on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and my own website. I'm glad to see you again today. For this video, I'm going to share with you my Orchidee Imperial Skincare Line, or basically my take on Guerlain's Orchidee Imperial Skincare Line. I have tried almost all the products within this line, and I must say that by this time, I'm already ready to share with you my review after using Orchidee Imperial products for at least a month now. As you can see, I actually have acne on my chin, so I will explain that later on. I have acne-prone skin. I have polycystic ovarian syndrome and hypothyroidism, which means I'm very prone to hormonal acne. I am not sponsored, and most of these products are actually gifts from Get Along, a part of their GWPs. The other products I tried are actually some samples that I got. Before I start this vlog, I invite you to please subscribe on my channel. If you happen to love beauty, fashion, and lifestyle topics, I have all those in my channel. If you happen to enjoy this vlog, please subscribe. Now, without further ado, let's start by checking out this essence by Orchidee Imperial. This is the essence and lotion. I must say the names on the Orchidee Imperial line are mostly the same as what Bio Prestige has. Like this essence and the cream and the other serums that they have. So basically it's funny that they almost have the same name. I think this is actually expected since they happen to have the same skincare developer. But the price is somewhat not the same, at least here in the Philippines. At some point, the price point of Orchidee Imperial is somewhat more expensive than Dior Prestige. Now, this Essence Lotion is more like the toner. But for some reason, they call it essence simply because it has a serum texture once you apply it on your skin. It feels like water, it looks like water, but once it's absorbed by the skin, it has this lightweight texture that actually feels like you applied a pre-serum on your skin. I haven't tried this yet simply because I have vowed to not use any toners or any essence anymore. I tend to put a lot of skincare products on my skin. And so if I can drop one product on my routine, it's gonna be the toner. Toner or essence is actually a hit or miss for me. Most of the time, they are okay on my face and they're not okay on the neck. And that is why there are times that I use two different toners on my neck and face, just because it's definitely a hit or miss. So when I decided to transfer to Get Along, I decided to not use any toner anymore. I saw some reviews about this toner though, and people are loving it. Let's smell it. Yeah, the basic Orchidee Imperial scent. It definitely looks like water because it's like bubbly, very, very clear, not at all heavy or sticky on the skin. But once you apply it on your skin, you'll definitely know that it's already there because for some reason, your dry skin becomes a bit supple and smoother. I'm not sure if I'm gonna recommend this to you since I haven't really tried this. Plus the price point is very expensive. This is 40 ml and it's actually around 2000 plus. Good thing this is just a part of a gift set from Get Along. But if I'm gonna decide for you, I don't think this is actually necessary. Now if you ask me if I'm not using any toner, what do I use as a pre-serum? Simple, it's the watery oil from the Abbe Royale skincare line. I vlogged about it recently. If you haven't seen it yet, please check out my channel 
and you'll see a vlog about all the Abiriel skincare products that I've tried recently. And I must say that I love it more than the toners because it definitely moisturizing my acne prone skin. I definitely prefer using the watery oil simply because it helps in moisturizing and treating my acne prone skin. Next up is this cleanser. So this is my first baby from the Orchidea Imperial line. And as you can see, it's almost empty now. I just bought today and I'm gonna have it tomorrow. This is around 6,200 here in the Philippines. And uh, it lasted me for like a couple of months already. But simply because I use it twice a day. And at the same time, I use it all over my chest because I tend to have acne and chest acne. This is the first Orchidea Imperial skincare line that I bought without the need to ask for a sample. Simply because that time I actually really need a product. And despite people saying that this is actually made of gel, I risked it and bought it anyway. The first time I opened it and smelled it, I was really afraid because it is quite a strong scent. But once you put it on your hand and actually apply it on your face, you will definitely enjoy its relaxing scent. It is powerful at some point, but once you actually blend it with water and you put it all over your face and your body, it has this very luxurious, elegant, and relaxing scent that you'll really love. It's not too powerful to the point that you will have an allergic reaction, and it's not too powerful to the point that your skin will react to it, not the type that is very perfumed. I love its packaging, very simple. You can actually cut it off when you want to empty the whole container. It is around 125 ml, probably my most expensive cleanser ever. I tried the Dior Prestige and it wasn't good on my skin. This is actually more expensive than Dior Prestige and when I actually used it, it was very very thick and you may actually fear that it won't work well with your skin just because of its texture. And once you put it on your skin, you'll definitely think that you're using a serum because of its thick texture. You just need a few drops and then a lot of water to use it on your face. But when you need to use it on your chest area as well, on your back knee, you need to add more. But definitely, it helped my acne on skin. It does not really help in removing your makeup or dirt. You need an oil for that, and a Be Royale has a cleansing oil. But in terms of washing thick skincare products on screen, this is already okay. The perfect part about this cleanser could actually be your worst fear, which is the thick texture and its scent. It has this majestic look and though the packaging is very very simple look at the box and you know this it's made of plastic but it's cover kind of hard and it has this Gelong logo and it's gold as well definitely the color combination of gold and dark blue screams royalty all over it I will stick with this cleanser as much as I can. Though it's very expensive, I don't think I can manage to lose this in my skincare routine. Next is the serum. So this is the only serum that I got, but for the Orchidea Imperial line, they actually have three serums. Let's discuss about the one that I actually bought, which is the Micro Lift Concentrate. So I bought this and this one caught my eye first simply because of the word lift. The first time I got a sample of this, I must agree that after three days, my jaw area really lifted. At that time, I'm already having double chin and all. So I really saw a huge difference. Even on my eye area, 
when you put a bit on your eye area, it will really look lifted. It's like Botox in a bottle. So definitely, this is going to be a staple on my skincare routine. It has this lightest texture. It feels like there's alcohol in it because it's absorbed by the skin super fast. Its scent is actually just like the other Orchid Imperial products, but not that powerful compared to the cleanser or the toner. It has a very luxurious packaging. At first, it was like, is this really 30 ml? It's actually a bit bigger on the upper part of the bottle, but in the lower part of the bottle, it looks smaller and I can't believe it's 30 ml. But I've been using this for like two to three weeks now, only one to two pumps per routine. And so far, it's still okay. I think I was able to use around 15% of the bottle already. The box is not that promising. I'm already telling you, you will be frustrated because it's just like this and then a box like that. And be very careful because as you open the box, it has a tape on the sides. And then once you open it, the micro lift concentrate is there. So nothing majestic, nothing grand, just the perfect skincare product that has the best formula. Its cover is really nice, as you can see. Uh, it's heavier than the one from the cleanser. It's a pump. The bottle is thick, but not as heavy as expected, especially with the fact that it's very thick. And its texture is quite thick, but once you apply it on your skin, you really won't feel any stickiness and it's as if you did not put anything on. The only thing that you have to watch out whenever you use this serum is to make sure that you apply a good cream afterwards. It tends to make your skin dry. I am really not sure if this is alcohol but it feels like it because of its fast absorbing properties plus the fact that it has this cooling sensation not too strong, just a bit, but definitely it did not cause acne on my skin, but it tends to cause my skin to dry if I apply it without a cream. So make sure that when you use this, you pair it with a good cream that will hydrate your skin well. My first idea is to actually make my whole skincare routine for day and night dedicated to the Orchidea Imperial skincare line alone. So basically, I intend to not use any Abbey Royale skincare product anymore. And I'll just use the watery oil as my pre-serum for day and night. Unfortunately, as I try to come up a new skincare routine that is purely Orchidea Imperial skincare line, I had a lot of acne on my face and my neck area. I'm already consistently using Guerlain's Abbe Royale hair oil. And though I'm not blaming it, but the thing is that before I vlogged about it, I did not see any bad reaction from using it. It's like my skin never reacted to the hair oil at all. But lo and behold, after a few weeks of consistently using it every other day, my skin reacted. And for some reason, a lot of Get Long skincare products that were working before are not working anymore. A few weeks ago, I asked for a sample of the Orchidea Imperial Sleeping Serum. It was not that promising for me simply because it's not that popular. But I was able to talk to one of Gail Long's skincare advisor from London and she mentioned that the sleeping serum is actually the best serum when you have hormonal acne. And so the moment I saw the sample, I was actually very excited. and. It has a very thick texture. It's like using the watery oil with added serum. It's like 
using the cleanser with added texture and then make it a serum. The scent is definitely just like the cleanser. Its thickness is evident to the point that you might actually say that this is their thickest serum ever. Its benefit is mostly just like the Midnight Secret, but it's in a form of a serum, which means this is more concentrated. I just love the feeling of my skin whenever I apply it. Its scent is way more relaxing than the other Orchidea Imperial line. It doesn't really make me sleepy after using it, but it's more like you got enough sleep for the day. In terms of treating the acne, I have to disagree with the person who actually suggested the sleeping serum to me. At first, it actually dried my acne, but after days of using the sleeping serum consistently, I noticed that I tend to have more acne, especially on the chin area. I had a hard time of letting it go, simply because I really love how it made my skin look really elastic. It seems like I don't have any pores at all, but the thing is that I was really desperate in trying to find what skincare product is actually causing me acne. At this very moment, I'm really not sure if the sleeping serum is the real reason why I had acne. But as soon as I actually removed the sleeping serum from my skincare routine, I stopped having acne on my cheeks. The thing is that I tend to understand whenever I have hormonal acne because it's very normal for me. But whenever I have acne on the cheeks, it's kind of hard for me to accept that simply because I already stopped having acne the moment I started using Gidla. If I have to decide for you, definitely I would recommend the Sleeping Serum. If you want a very elastic skin, almost no pores, and you want to have a supple skin, but if you have a very acne prone skin, because of its thick texture, I don't think it is a good option for you. It's sad because I really want to collect or have all the Orchidea de Creole skincare products, but you really have to wake up and accept the reality that products are not working anymore. Next is the Longevity Concentrate. This is kind of popular, as popular as the Lift Concentrate, but I believe the Lift Concentrate is the newest one in the market right now. The Longevity Concentrate, as per my SA, is what you need if you have hormonal acne, but as per the SA in London, it does not and cannot help anyone who has hormonal acne. But when I check the ingredients on the website, the Longevity Concentrate Serum mostly help in hormonal acne and for those who have acne prone skin. The sleeping serum only helps in decongestion. Make sure that your skin looks like it got enough rest. The longevity concentrate actually looks just like the daily repair serum but it added more serum and more cream on it. That's why it looks creamier and thicker. The set is definitely more like Orchidea Royale, but not that evident anymore. It has like a milky texture, more like the Daily Repair Serum. I was really more hopeful about this product simply because my SA knows this works really well with the other customers she has. And at the same time, other people are really loving it. The moment I applied it though, I already feel like it's not gonna work. Simply because as soon as I applied it, I feel itchy. There's a sticky feeling. And the next day, as soon as I applied it, I saw acne on my neck and my face. And that is extreme for me because once you put acne on my neck, it's really something. I tried it again the next day and it gave me another acne on my forehead and my neck. And so it was stopped immediately. The thing is that with the longevity concentrate, I already know immediately as soon as I used it that it's not gonna work. The problem with the sleeping serum is that it's not that consistent to the point that the skin looks supple and elastic today, but the next day it will cause you acne. And the problem is that the acne is really huge and it doesn't have any pus 
is just huge and it takes weeks for it to heal. Though you actually see a lot of pimples at the moment, this is just the half of what's left from the damage that these skincare products did on my skin. So if I can help you choose which one to buy, definitely Micro Lift Concentrate because it's new, it does not cause me acne, it's very lightweight, and it definitely lifted my skin. For Longevity Concentrate, I really don't understand what it does to my skin. It gave me bigger pores actually, and I don't see anything good about it. With the Sleeping Serum, definitely elasticity and suppleness, it might cause you acne because of its thick texture. Now let's move on to the eye cream and eye serum. I don't have it yet. I haven't purchased it yet because it's amounting to 12 to 14,000 here in the Philippines and I have to really make sure that it actually works before I purchase it. I have tried a lot of Bio Prestige eye products before and I was never tempted to buy their eye cream or eye serum simply because I really did not see any difference. When it comes to Gidlong's Orchidea Imperial eye cream, I immediately saw a difference after three to five days. You just have to be very consistent because you won't see it immediately. You won't see it like in one to two days. You'll see it after the third, the fifth, the seventh day until you stop using it and then you'll realize that your eyes were looking good just because you're applying an eye cream. I actually had a 3 ml sample and I've been using it for 3 weeks now. So it seems like I can empty out 1 ml a week but I'm really not sure because that 3 ml container is still not empty up to now. So it's my third week of using it and it's still not empty. If I empty it this week then you can say that in a month, I can finish 3 ml, which means 15 ml can actually last for about 20 weeks. So I guess that's good, especially when it actually lifts the eyes, minimizes the eye bags and the puffiness, plus it does not cause acne on my eyes at all. I also love that it stopped and eliminated the dark circles of my eyes. I just have to use it consistently to make sure that the puffiness is gone completely. But also just a reminder that it's not that possible because if you have hormonal problems and you tend to eat a lot of salty food, bloatedness is a must on your body and on your face. So it will definitely happen. But at least have or find a good eye cream or eye serum that will help you in minimizing those eye bags. Now in terms of their serum, I actually thought that it's going to be better because it's more expensive. The thing is that I did not see any difference. I did not like the scent at all. It feels like it's a micro lift concentrate but actually for the eyes. I don't like its texture. I don't see any difference even after emptying out a 3 ml serum and at the same time the 3 ml serum lasted me for two weeks only so i believe even though it's more expensive and they said it's a serum so it's more concentrated i don't think it's actually better simply because i don't see any benefit from it at all i'm not sure if it's gonna be different in your case but check it before buying Next is the cream. So like I said earlier, the names of the products of the Orchidea Imperial line have the same name as what Dio Prestige has. This one is the cream or la creme, which is the same name of Dio Prestige, but I believe they call it in English the cream. I'm not sure, but I believe Dio Prestige still calls it la creme and not the cream. So I call it the cream because I also have the Yo Prestige La Creme here at home. I don't call it La Creme, but I call it the cream. In terms of creams, Orchidea Imperial has two creams, which is La Creme or the cream and Leisure, which is the light cream, the lighter cream or the night cream. So, of course, the cream has a thicker texture or the regular texture. Oh, it also has the third cream, which is the rich cream. 
And the second cream is the Leisure or the Lighter Cream. This did not work well with me simply because it's not light in texture. At first, it actually looked really good on me to the point that it eliminated a lot of my acne. And uh, after a week of using it, I was really in denial when I saw a lot of acne and I can't believe it when I have to say that I think it's the cream. And so the moment I changed my cream from the cream to the light cream, I immediately saw the difference. Guys, another heads up. One way for you to know that your skincare is working is if it does not cause you bigger pores. If it reacts too much and it causes you bigger pores, more or less, it's not a good product that works well with you. If it actually closes your pores and gives you a more elastic skin, and it does not irritate your skin, there's a big chance that it will work well with your skin for a long time. So with the cream, the sad part about it is that at first I did not react to it, but then eventually, just like the sleeping serum, it reacted. When I noticed the reaction, it was actually too late because I already had a lot of big acne. Up until now, I'm still tempted to use this simply because I love its texture, I love its scent, and I love how it makes my skin a little bit brighter compared to Leisure or the light cream. I don't have the light cream at the moment simply because I haven't bought it yet. As I shoot this vlog, I must say that I am on the process of changing my light cream with a Bay Real's night cream. I'm not really sure if the Leisure cream is actually causing me acne. But just to be sure, and as I finalize and try to find what causes my acne, I will stop using the Leisure first. I haven't tried the Rich Cream, so don't ask me about it, but mostly a thicker texture of the cream. In terms of the difference of the Leisure and the cream, the Leisure is thinner, the scent is less powerful, and it treats the acne prone skin well. It minimizes my pores. Whereas the main difference of the cream is just it makes my skin brighter. So I'm really not sure why it worked at some point and then boom, it stopped. But again, it caused me acne on my cheek area and that is why I have to really stop and understand the fact that it's not working anymore. Last but not the least, I bought this as soon as I tried it simply because without a question, without a doubt, after one week of using it, it is consistently giving me good stuff. What I love about this mask is the fact that as soon as I use it, whatever day it is, whether I'm tired or I'm not, it makes me sleep ASAP. Number two, its scent has a hint of the Orchidea Imperial skincare products, but it's somewhat more relaxing than the others. Third, it definitely is thick, probably as thick as the cream but for some reason, it works well on me. There are days when I feel like it doesn't work well with me, but I guess it's more on, I just did not have enough sleep. That's why it also cost me acne. 90% of the time, it works well with my skin. In terms of texture, again, it's just like the cream. I put it on my skin together with the eye cream and the Midnight Secret. I don't add any watery oil or serum before or cream afterwards. Just those three. Eye cream, the mask, and the Midnight Secret. And then I'm good to go and sleep. I'm really not sure what it does to my skin though. I love that even before I know its benefit, it already caught my heart. I checked on its ingredients and I found out that it has ingredients that is mostly used in India as a way to treat hormonal acne or diseases and other environmental and emotional stress related sicknesses. At the same time, it helps in treating damaged skin, making your skin recover in no time and making it a bit brighter, allowing it to breathe while you're sleeping. Whenever I use the mask and I got enough sleep, it causes my acne to become smaller to 0%. It also brightens my acne scar to the point that it's not obvious anymore. And it removes the irritation I have from my new acne. So most of my new acne from the other Orchidea Braille 
skincare products that I used are actually red, irradiated, and thin. This product heals all of them. And I love that whenever I put it on my skin, I know it's thick, but it doesn't feel thick on my skin. And there's no itchy feeling. And at the same time, even my hormonal acne is treated. And I have small acne on my chin and on my forehead. It also takes care of that. You can look up its ingredients. It's very helpful and used as a medicine in India. And at the same time, it's a popular treatment for those who have environmental and emotional stress. So this is perfect for those who are very lazy and coming up with a skincare routine every night and day. Plus, those who just want to apply one skincare product only, it also comes with a brush. Fortunately, I'm not using the brush because it seems like I'm wasting a product whenever I use it just to scoop the mask. And at the same time, it's very gooey, perfect to use as a foundation brush. Though this is around 22,075 ml, this is a good purchase from its texture to its benefits to its scent. I can't say anything bad about it. Its packaging is definitely perfect, though it's just inside of a regular box. It is heavier compared to the other creams that I have. This jar is by far the heaviest and also the most luxurious one that I got. Definitely a must-have, especially if you have acne prone skin and you're prone to stress. If you're gonna say or tell me that Orchidea Imperial is just about the tag price, it's just about a level up experience with Gen Long. Yes, I must agree. The tag price, the experience, another level compared to a Bay Real. But if you're gonna tell me that a Bay Real cannot match what Orchidea Imperial can do, no, that's not true. The double R serum can actually match what Orchidea Imperial serums can do. At the same time, a Bay Royale's Night Cream can also do what Orchidea Imperial the cream can do. But it just so happened that it reacts to one another. That's why I can't use the night cream at the moment. At the end of the day, just be very careful because if you have hormonal acne, these products tend to not work consistently. So make sure that because of its that price, you only purchase what works really best for your skin. At the same time, don't be afraid to mix and match a Bay Royale and Orchidea Imperial for they work well together. I'm glad that you joined me today. I hope you learned a lot about Orchidea Imperial and also about Gen Long. Again, I invite you to please watch my other videos. I have a lot. And please consider to subscribe. I appreciate your time and for joining me for today's video. I'm about to let go. But before that, of course, this hashtag, misinformation lessons. People tend to be really tired every day. And because of that, they tend to be rude together with their tiredness and stress as well but let us remember that as we feel the stress and as we feel tired every day let us also remember that other people are also tired just like you just like me if you feel like you're too sensitive to react on things that you should not react on and if you feel like Every time you're reading something or you're seeing something, you just tend to be irritated. Instead of immediately pouncing on the person that irritated you, how about questioning yourself first? Why you're actually irritated? Most of the time, yes, there is misunderstanding. Yes, there could be hurtful scenarios along the way. But at the end of the day, we should not choose violence and we should always choose peace. There's always a better way of saying things. There's always a better way of communicating what we feel. Let us not think that it's always about us. Sometimes we tend to misinterpret what other people most or say 
just because we think that it's all about us. Stop thinking that people are against you. Stop thinking that people are attacking you and start thinking and considering other people before yourself. Don't think so highly of yourself to the point that you think it's okay to actually hurt other people just because you think your emotions, your hurt feelings are valid. Yes, they understand we're not supposed to invalidate others' feelings, but at the same time, we have to also consider others' feelings more valuable than their own. And so if everyone will do that, no one will get hurt, no one will fight, no one will have misunderstanding, and everyone will just value relationships and friendships overall. Life is too short for us to value things than people. Life is too short and true friends are too few for us to connect with someone just because of what we might get from this person and not because of what we can give to this person. Please, instead of asking what's in it for me, ask yourself, what can I do to serve you? I hope you learned something today and I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day and bless you. Bye. Chill and watch misinformation vlogs. Like and subscribe. Happy Father's Day to Grandpa and Grandi. We love you. Connect with me on Facebook. DM me on Instagram or learn more about me on my blog, misinformation.blog. See ya!